Game updates. For better or worse, they have become part and parcel of video games. The days of putting your new game into your console and playing it right away have made way to inevitable day one patches, and later down the line, game updates. But by and large, updates improve performance and add content. However, there have been times when game updates have had the opposite effect and have actually made games worse or even broke them to the point that they're completely unplayable. So, this episode, we take a look at these awful amendments, these ruined rebuilds, and these miscalculated modifications. As I say, but hello you. I'm Guru Larry, and I welcome you to Fact Hunt. Five update patches that Destroyed games. Yeah! Open world games have proven to be a tricky genre for providing a bug free player experience, and although not perfect, Rockstar Games does a better job than most thanks to their experience developing their absurdly popular Grand Theft Auto series. So, while taking a break from endlessly re-releasing GTA V and swimming in cash made from microtransactions, Rockstar released a sequel to Red Dead Redemption in October 2018, which was imaginatively titled Red Dead Redemption 2. The online portion of the game was available a little while after the main game's release, and this saw players live out their cowboy fantasies online even if there was major complaints about the in-game economy at the beginning. In August 2020, however, Rockstar put out patch 1.21, which completely buggered the game. Guess it? Buggered? Huh? Oh, I'll get the code. Users took to social media to share stories of a mysterious bald man who would show up in random places and, more often than not, start running on the spot or sometimes in mid-air. Horses were bugs too. Sometimes they were trot on the spot, much like the bald man. Many times though, they would gain sonic speed and spaz out to hilarious effect. And when they weren't flying through the air, they were disappearing or doing the opposite and duplicating themselves. NPCs didn't behave correctly. Wildlife didn't behave correctly. And sometimes, even the ground itself didn't behave correctly. The game's update was so broken that Rockstar had to straight up remove it and roll the game back to the previous version to make it playable. Thankfully, after this debacle, everyone saw how tricky open world games were to make and no studio ever rushed one to release ever again. Ah, turns out CD Projekt Red didn't learn from Rockstar's mistake and released Cyberpunk 2077 with such a large number of bugs, it made Bethesda look like a competent studio. Clips of the downright hilarious bugs have been shared far and wide online, from NPCs adopting the T-pose for no reason at all, getting stuck inside vending machines, utterly insane car physics, plus dead bodies getting up and walking around. It's clear that Cyberpunk needed work to get these issues under control. Now, you would have thought that when you start off with an extremely buggy game, the only way is up. I mean, when you have people getting stuck in chairs and then just spinning around in mid-air, it's going to take real effort to make things worse. But somehow, that's what happened. In January 2021, CD Projekt Red released patch 1.1 of Cyberpunk and turned it from a buggy game to a completely broken one. The issue the patch introduced was when players attempted the quest down on the street. There was a section in the mission that the player would receive a video call from a key game character that would then progress the story. 
The problem was that when players received the video call, the NPC wouldn't actually say anything, and the quest would not progress. As this mission needed to be completed to make the main story continue, players were stuck. Thus the game was now broken, and as of the writing of this video, still is. Star Wars Galaxies was an MMORPG that launched in 2003, but unlike the other titles on this list, this entry had not one, but two updates that ruined it in the eyes of gamers. However, the player dissatisfaction actually began with how the developers implemented the game's Jedi character class, which, being a Star Wars game, was a class everyone wanted to play as. Galaxies not only allowed you to create combat-style characters, but characters that specialised in non-combat too, like medics, engineers, and even entertainers. But the developers, in an act of total stupidity, made the items required to unlock the Jedi class only drop from fighting the highest level monsters in the game, thus locking out anyone that created a non-combat character. And remember, in an MMO, People more often than not put hundreds of hours of time into their characters. So when these players found out that unless they started a game again, they could never earn the Jedi class, they were furious. However, it was in April 2005 that the user base would hit boiling point with a combat upgrade patch. The developers were watching people quitting the game in favour of the newly released World of Warcraft en masse so decided to change their rather clunky combat system in favour of something inspired by Blizzard's smash hit. This complete game update didn't sit well with the players, and a ton more left, ironically, to start playing World of Warcraft as well. The next update to really tank the game's play numbers came just seven months later in November. With World of Warcraft's play numbers hitting figures never seen before by any MMO prior, the developers behind Star Wars Galaxies decided to totally rework many sections of the game in what would be called the New Game Experience Update. Players hated that the game they loved had been totally reworked in an effort to keep up with Warcraft, and thousands cancelled their subscriptions. Galaxies never regained the player base it once had, and finally shut down in 2011. Now, this segment is supposed to be about a game-breaking update for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but considering Activision likes nothing more than repackaging the same game over and over, I have to clearly point out what entry in a series I'm referring to. It's not the original Modern Warfare, it's not Modern Warfare Remastered, it's actually the Modern Warfare reboot from 2019. So, now all that needless clarification is out of the way, we can finally get to the point. In January 2020, players updated their online multiplayer section of the game to the latest patch. However, many gamers were greeted with this screen, stating that there had been an error and that the data was corrupt. But far worse than that, it said that their online multiplayer rank had to be reset and all their unlocks were going to be gone. Given how fiercely competitive Modern Warfare multiplayer is, this botched update was not taken at all well by the players, especially since the two options they were given was to start a game or bugger off. Luckily enough, the developers Infinity Ward put out a handy tweet telling players just what to do, that they were not to select either option and to just hard close the game. So yeah, top job there lads, bravo! After a while, it turned out that even this error message was bugged, and that if you did select the option to reset your rank, it didn't erase anything. You just play on lying like normal, and none of your data was changed at all. But it took time for this information to filter through social media, 
so it meant that many players missed out on days of ranked online battles, which really was probably for the best. Star Wars game, Larry? Yeah, they seem to be a magnet for terrible decisions, don't they? But between Disney and EA, people can't stop making this franchise worse every time they fiddle with it. Luckily, this isn't the surprise mechanics infested dumpster fire that was EA Star Wars Battlefront 2, but rather the excellent LucasArts and Pandemic namesake from 2005. This version of Star Wars Battlefront 2 is actually loved by fans, who have been continually playing it for over a decade and a half. And despite its age, surprisingly, every now and then, it still does receive updates. Now, you would have thought, considering how long this game has been around, the studio in charge would be more than competent in adjusting this game. However, a patch released in February 2021 caused all manner of problems. For starters, there were graphical issues, such as problems with the field of view and resolution adjustments, as well as concerns with the text size and user interface. But far worse for the players were the crashes that people were widely reporting, with the number one issue being it broke the majority of the most popular game mods that the community members were used to using. Users took to various forums to voice their complaints about their now broken game, and not long after that, the development studio pulled the update and rolled the game back to the previous version. Now if only they would do that with some of the movies too. Hello you, thanks ever so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to be first to see future Fact Hunt episodes. Click on the bell if you already are to make sure you're notified. And be sure to check out my other episodes. And if you want to be super awesome, check out my Patreon. But thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Ta-ra for now.